We're glad to be joined now by Dr. Keith Whitfield, who is chair of the Mentoring Committee and also co-director of the Technical Assistance Workshop. Welcome. Thank you, Leslie. Good to be here. Uh, tell us what you've been doing on the Mentoring Committee. On the Mentoring Committee, that's something that gets worked on across the year. We think about the different kinds of opportunities that students need, uh, not students, but uh, students, faculty, uh, junior scholars need to be able to progress in their careers. And so we try to create a programmatic format. Um, the, our biggest thing that we have is a Friday morning, very early morning, consultancy where they can kind of do speed mentoring and talk to lots of different people about career issues, about grants, about publications, all the things that face uh, scholars that are coming up through the ranks. What are you doing looking in the future with that committee? Uh, I think with that committee, um, in the past, not too long ago, we actually created a uh, a uh, fundraising campaign and I think we need to do a fundraising campaign again because it actually costs money uh, one to be able to run some of those activities but two uh, which was done with the first iteration was to be able to provide additional activities so the committee ends up being kind of a jumping off point for others in the society to be able to do other mentoring activities and so if we can support that I think that's something that we should do in the next few years is have another one of those to have some additional funds because it's kind of an unfunded mandate at the moment but needed, so I understand Desperately that. Needed, yeah. Let's talk about your other role here, a co-director of the Technical Assistance Workshop. Uh, for those who understand, most people will know what this is among your peers, but tell us what that is and what your role is with it. Well, it's interesting. The Technical Assistance Workshop is something that the NIA actually offered, I don't know, years and years ago, and then there had been a kind of a hiatus from it, and I think a number of us who had actually benefited from the Technical Assistance Workshop, I was in one back in the 90s, um, it was really one of those launch pad kinds of activities that really helps get you grounded, creates peer networks, uh, and I think what's interesting is, is that now in the social uh, media, uh, uh, social networking age, it's even more important. So we've designed it so that we can kind of capitalize on what the 21st, scholar, 21st century scholar actually does, what they, they do and how they connect with one another. Uh, for a lot of the junior people, because this goes from people who are in, in graduate school all the way up to uh, very early assistant professors, people making that transition. Be able to provide them with uh, experiences from more um, senior investigators to really talk about you know, planning your career, of thinking about what it means to do publications, how do you work with your mentor, uh, a lot of very, very practical sorts of things. Uh, it's an extension of and connected to the mentoring consultancies, but different because we tend to have a much more focused group. We try to make sure that it's an extremely diverse group, whereas the uh, mentoring consultancies basically come one, come all. This one is one that people apply for and we actually provide support for them to get to the meeting. Uh, it's funded and sponsored uh, by a grant from the National Institute on Aging. You get there everywhere. Uh, and so we're able to actually even help financially students to be able to get here, young, young scholars to be able to get here, and to talk about some of the most pressing issues. Tell us how your peers here, all gathered here for this annual meeting, um, might be able to help in the mentoring world, in, in, in your realm. Well, I tell you, that's one of the things that makes my job and my participation easy, is that this is one of... I've been a member of several professional associations and um, as I become a more senior scholar, this is the one that I stick with because mentorship is front and center. It's in everybody's mind. I think that we have a very collegial, you know, we're an interdisciplinary program. There's not just one single discipline. And I think with that, it's interesting. We could be very siloed, but we actually end up being very cooperative and very collaborative. And so bringing around junior people is one of the things that's most important. Uh, actually, as you walk through the hallways of this meeting, you will see little mentoring consultancies going on everywhere. And so it's, I think, a hallmark for the association. It's one of the things that makes us great, makes us strong. Dr. Whitfield, thank you so much for the information. Thank you, Leslie.